Hey there everybody, Wes here from Scamps Automotive again. So I wanted to share an interesting find with you guys. I was working on a 2002 Dodge Durango. It's a 4.7 liter engine. It has a check engine light on. A P0153 and 0158. That is bank, that is bank 2, oxygen sensors 1 and 2, both shorted to power. Uh, so the lady just bought the car, she was trying to get it to pass the emissions test and obviously couldn't with the check engine light on. I, I kind of started looking around, you know 99.9% .9 of the time if you got a code for an O2 sensor, it's a bad sensor. But this one was interesting because I couldn't recall ever seeing that code shorted to power. Usually it's something regarding the heater circuit or response time or shorted to ground but that shorted to power kind of threw me off so I look underneath the car both the oxygen sensors I could find are brand new I'm like okay so they've already been replaced well the code is thrown is for bank two so I'm looking around I start trying to diagnose it I notice on my scanner both of the bank two sensors are pegged at one volt Typically, an oxygen sensor, it's gonna, it's gonna be switching voltage. At least an upstream one will, upstream of the catalytic converter. It'll be switching between 0.2 volts and 0.8, somewhere in there. So it's pegged all the way to to max voltage. Um, so I unplug one of the sensors. The two that are reading, one of the two that are actually reading, pegged all the way to one volt too. But what's odd is the one I unplug is a bank one sensor. If you're looking at the engine in front of the car, the left side is bank two and the right side is bank one. On this Dodge motor in particular, it's different for Ford and GM and some others, but so I was like, hmm, that's strange. I get to looking around, there's only two oxygen sensors on this thing. I trace the entire exhaust back, there's only two. So, my first thought, the exhaust has been modified. Uh, they took off the other catalytic converter. Well, I start doing some research on all data. I find there are two configurations. One for California emissions and one for federal. California emissions has two catalytic converters and four oxygen sensors. Federal has one converter and two sensors. This vehicle, we're in Nevada, and uh, this particular one is a federal emissions vehicle, so it only had one converter, two sensors. Well, the engine control module directly powers and grounds these sensors. If you look, I'm looking at the wiring diagram, there's nothing else in between them except wires. So from the sensor to the control module, that's it. I look at the ECM, the tag on there has a different VIN than the vehicle. Boom. That's the problem. At some point, the ECM was replaced, and the one that got put in was for a California emissions Durango. So the computer was supposed to be seeing feedback from four sensors. It was only getting two, so it was interpreting it as a fault, as a short to power. Basically, there's no sensor there. The ECM's trying to send it power, but there's nothing, there's no load in between the power and the ground, so it interprets it as a short to power. So I just thought that was really interesting. Um, you know, in, in my younger years, I probably would have just thrown another sensor at it. And that's exactly what the, the guy who sold it to this lady gave her two new sensors and was like, here, this will fix your problem. That's all it needs. Well, at some point, very recently, it already had two sensors put in it. They're brand new. So, um, you know, that's just an example of be careful before you start throwing parts at stuff. Sometimes it pays to do a little bit of diagnosis. From Scamps Automotive, keep on wrenching.